Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Oh, it's time to talk cleavers. A Civivi cleaver, as a matter of fact. We're going to be checking out the Civivi Mini Mastodon. Now, you know, I recently got a comment on, a, it had to have been the Dogma video, that was the last CV, Civivi I've done, and the, 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 the comment was, you know, don't you get tired of we and Civivi? And, I mean, the short answer is no, not really. Uh, they have keep putting out some really, really good knives, uh, different designs. I mean, the Fracture, I'm I've, I've totally in love with the Fracture. Uh, the Dogma, you know, the, the G10 Dogma, I was like, okay, you know. And then I saw the Brass. The black polished brass that I reviewed. Wow. Now that was a good looking knife. So, no. I don't get tired of Wii and Civivi. I mean, man, they pump them out. And the, the Mastodon and the Mini Mastodon are just two more examples of how they do pump them out. But, no. No, I don't get tired of them. But let's take a look at the Mini Mastodon. Pretty cool little cleaver. Now, it, I did find it a little weird, and I talked to Peter, uh, Therapeutic Edge, about that just a little bit, is, you know, they're going to put out two cleavers, kind of bang, bang, which that did surprise me a little bit. They have, you know, the Bull Mastiff and the Mastodon. Both are cleavers, so I did find that a little bit odd, but hey, you know, who am I to... Civivi puts out some really nice knives, so... They obviously know what they're doing. So, anyhow, the Mini Mastodon right here. Red G10. You know we are liking that. And if Tojo watches, I've got a surprise for you here in a bit, Tojo. <laughs> Red G10 backspacers, stainless liners. Stainless steel pocket clip. Recessed pocket screws. Look at that. Clip screws, I should say. Lanyard fans, happy, happy. There's a lanyard hole. A nice deep carry clip. Coming back. Well, let's just take a look at the handle. Oh, I mean, it's a, it's a wee Civivi knife. We know it's going to be done very well. And I tell you what, this one is, is, it's no exception. It is done very, very well. Fairly well recessed body screws. Uh, they stick up just a tad bit. Just a tiny bit. Yes, indeed. Nothing too bad. Centering. Looks like it might... Yeah, it's off to the clip side just... Just a little bit. But nothing nothing too major. Flipper tab. Got some jimping. Pretty darn adequate jimping. Both sides, top and the side. Flip. Oh, see now there... The action on this one surprises me. There we go. That's better. Flipper push button. Now, it's a flipper, but this is not the type of action that I expect from a wee knife. Ready? I'm going to drop it. Now, I do need to say, well, wee Civivi, excuse me. Um, this is a pass around knife, so I do have to say thank you to Civivi and the Apex Pass Around Group for providing it for review, but there's the liner disengaged. I am not used to a Civivi knife not dropping. And with the size of this blade, that really, really surprises me. Now, I mean, Civivi knives, they run on bearings. Um... I don't know. Like I said, this is a pass around knife, so I'm I don't take them apart. I don't alter them because then this was, I was the first one to get in line for the Mastodon, so it came straight from uh, the provider to me, and I am not going to alter it in any way. Each reviewer, as far as I'm concerned, each reviewer after me needs to see the knife as it came to me, so I'm not going to alter it in any way. But that really surprised me. My guess is 
the pivot probably needs to be cleaned out but for a pass around knife that we knew was going to get lots of reviews and eyeballs it maybe should have been done before it got to me as the first one in review you know what i mean so just a little surprised but once we do have it deployed we have pretty darn good lockup i'm gonna call it need to look out here yeah about 30 35 percent good solid lockup nice cleaver blade even got the the cleaver hole right there nice belly on it stone washed finish really really like that pretty darn good forward finger choil um it's pretty much just big enough for my finger um if you're gonna have if you have large hands large fingers might have a bit of an issue with that forward finger choil but it is there and it's definitely usable 98cr18 mov on the blade steel you know CVV does like to use that 9CR from time to time. Nothing wrong with that. I have no issue with 9CR. And I'm trying, let's see, are we focusing? There you go, right there, 9CR18. And that, that is the one thing I do always like about CVV blades. Clean, clean, clean blades. You got the logo right there on the pivot, and they usually tuck their blade steels so it, it's yeah not an issue that's a pretty darn good looking cleaver nice feels really good in hand you know the sway in the spine gives just gives that thumb a perfect uh, landing point choke up on that forward finger trail definitely definitely put that knife to work without a doubt in the grip pocket clip not too bad i can feel it a little bit but it's not uncomfortable not a hot spot there you go peter in case you want to do some gas station stuff but overall not too bad the liner does stand a little proud there for the liner lock definite jimping i mean good access to the liner lock yeah Plenty of access, not an issue. It just the action on this one, it just really surprises me with the size of blade. I, I thought it would just surprise me, man. I'd never had a Civivi knife not have that type of action, and I've I've seen a few size comparisons. There is our PM2. Obviously, PM2. Pretty much a bigger knife. Now, like I said, this is the mini. There is a full-size Mastodon. There is our bug out. Even the bug out's got it on length by just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to do this just for Tojo. If you know me and Tojo, we got to get that in there. Because that's a lot of red for Tojo. That's just for you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, had to do that. We have this whole red-green thing going. He likes green. I like red. Yeah. Oh, let's see. We can take our measurements. That would help, wouldn't it? Know what we're dealing with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, just over seven. Seven and an eighth handle length. I mean, it's just with that little point right there it's just over four inches i mean it's four inches between friends which is basically going to give you right about a three inch blade and then your cutting edge is about two and three quarters with that finger choil so definitely have uh you are sub three inches so blade restriction be darned be danged however you want to say it one two three I mean, from point to point, you've got about three inches on your grip length. So it's definitely a mini. You probably could overlap a bit, but in my three and three quarter inch hand, I'm just getting a four inch grip. So does it fit my hand? Yes. Would I say it fits my hand perfectly? 
Mm, no, probably not perfectly. Because it does feel good. It doesn't feel bad at all. But I think I would probably, I don't know, I might have to go for the larger. And we do have a large Mastodon going around the pass around group. I was actually hoping they would go around together because I thought that would give a, you know, a, a, you could do a comparison with them, but apparently not. So that's okay. Overall though, you know, not a bad little knife. What do I like about it? What do I don't like about it? What do I like about it? Well, obviously is red. Y'all know I'm gonna like that. No problems with the G10. Uh, the handle, the milling, or the, the the milling, the, oh man, I just lost, man, I just lost it. Not contouring, but, wow, it's gone. It looks good, we'll just say that. Holy cow, completely gone out of my head. Cannot think of that word. Not, yeah, it, I mean, it's well built. Now, uh, pocket clip, deep carry. Oh, we didn't give you a pocket clip look. Let's do that real quick. I mean, boom, Civivi's deep carry. Yeah, it's gone. Pocket clip, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good retention. Easy in and out of pocket. Overall, yeah, the I like pretty much everything, um, with the exception of the action on this one. Uh, just really surprised me that the action that came on this knife you know especially knowing it was a pass around knife it's just yeah i mean can it be tweaked i'm probably i'm sure it probably can uh cleaned up maybe even the pivot loosened a little bit but you know what that's not for me to do to a pass around knife that's just my the way i think about it but overall not a bad little knife blue is going to give it an eight because yeah i mean it's solid it's a solid little knife. Uh, if the action was a little better, might be an 8.5. But overall, yeah, not a bad knife. Now, these are not available yet. They're coming soon. Haven't been released yet. I don't know for sure when they're going to be re relieved. But go to your favorite retailer that carries them. You know, get on the... It says coming soon on like Blade HQ and stuff. Now, like White Mountain always says out of stock. That's just because they're not in stock yet. But price on this one, $47.75. So pretty much standard for your Civivi 9CR knife. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty standard, yeah. Not too bad. Not a bad knife, just really, really surprised on the action for this one. One last nice little profile shot there. Might use that as a cover photo. Who knows? But there you go. Again, thank you very much to uh, We Civivi for sending this out. And thank you very much to the Pass Around Group, the Apex Pass Around Group, for the opportunity to check it out. And thank you for checking it out with me. As always, guys, greatly appreciate it. Just remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And hey, you know what? If you like the content on the channel, guys, channel memberships are open. There should be a join button right below the video screen where the video is playing. Check out the perks. See what you get for being a channel member. And as always, I greatly appreciate you all. I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.